Hi Pisces, this is Shara from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and thank you very much for your likes and shares it's phenomenal and I'm using uh, a new deck which is called the um, Enchanted Love Tarot and you can uh, look at these cards and I think they're amazing they're full of humor as well beauty uh, sensuality, romance, and I love the way the humor is the lover's guide to dating, mating, and relating. Okay, so have a look at the review. There's two or three new reviews out there, and you'll be seeing the uh, new decks that I have in the coming weeks. Also, every day I will be putting out a card with a Christmas tarot. Okay, and I hope you will enjoy it. And for those that are new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all and set your settings in YouTube and your mobile device to receive notifications. I also go live and I hope to meet you there. We start off with the Hermit and the Hermit is number nine. So there is an ending in the beginning of December an ending to something. Um, no, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be because the hermit is always on his own and doing retreats. It could be an ending to being alone. Where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. And these are so beautiful cards. Look at the colors of them. And the big. this is a big arcana, so it's got stars around it. And every suit has different colors. So this is the card for introspection. That's meditation, contemplation, and evaluation. Perhaps you might be evaluating a situation or a question at hand with regards to your relationship or being, if you haven't got a relationship, perhaps you might be thinking about that, what to do about it especially in the situation with all these lockdowns. You can always, for example, go on internet and um, connect with people through cyber. Be open to learning new things, getting new ideas. This is what you also do in meditation or contemplation. Rather, um, think about new things, going within and opening your mind to get new ideas. If that's not the case, you could be meeting a hermit, or um, the hermit represents Virgo. <laughs> you could be meeting a hermit, yes, because somebody else might be alone as well. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant Virgo, uh, because the hermit represents Virgo. He could be alone, or she could be alone, and um, she might be doing, the, or he might be doing um, the same as you, trying to get new ideas in meditation or contemplation. Wow. So, try to, um, you have to see the hermit as a man that's traveling, his life journey, he's doing, he's on his, uh, you know, you could be journeying psychologically, uh, mentally or physically okay the hermit does both okay and that's how I see the hermit and I always see him with a rucksack because in the traditional tarot he looks a bit bent over so it's like he's got a rucksack uh, with all his belongings underneath his cloak well here you can see the lady sitting and leaning and thinking against a, a, a plant pot or something it's too artistic -y to see. But perhaps you might be thinking um, about something from the past. What is of use to you now? Have you got negative thoughts? Then let it go. So that you make room for new. So empty out that rucksack and so that you can put new experiences, new ideas into the rucksack for when you need them. It's in, as a matter of fact, you could take a jotter or a book and scribble your ideas 
in this book and leave them to rest and then when you're ready you can come back to the book or your diary and pick up one of the ideas and put it into practice. So that is what meditation uh, and contemplation really means. Then you can also evaluate what you are going to do first and how you're going to do. It's food for thought. Meditation is also going within to s check your feelings, check your emotions, um, see where you want to go, see what you what you can let go to make room for the new. The second week or the second card for the second week we have the King of Wings and the King of Wings looks like Van Gogh, Van Gogh, the Dutch painter here and it says professional and professionality means obviously that this king, uh, the King of Wings is the King of Swords, the King of Air um, this king is a Gemini, but don't exclude Libra or an Aquarius. These are thinkers, communicators, people that stand for justice, clarity, transparency. Um, they are swift, they are very creative and active. So perhaps you might meet a professional person or you might meet a quite well-read person who likes to chat and likes to converse and likes to have the same sort of person as you. Like I said, you might want to meet a man or like to meet a man <coughs> excuse me, for that talks a, uh, can talk nicely, intellectually and with content. It could be a professional man, it could be a man uh, from a butcher to a surgeon to an advocate as the um, swords or the wind suit stands for communication, wisdom and clarity and justice. It's usually somebody that can work in a municipality or an institution like a bank, a school, a hospital, uh, anything like that. It could be a teacher it could be a headmaster, it could be a lawyer, a judge. So it's a, a man that can communicate, that can sell ice cubes to Eskimos if need be. It's a man with wisdom and clarity um, of speech. They're very verbal, but they can also, because it's the source, they can be very cutting when it is necessary they'll get straight to the point okay so if they are a judge or if they are somebody that's communicating with regards to the law they'll get straight to the point they can cut anything um, uh, away to get the, to the truth also you'll find these people people are authors or uh, actors or poets anything that has to do with communication. So they can be very exciting people but sometimes they, th they think faster than they speak and so um, they sometimes forget <laughs> what they are saying like uh, it, they can be very flippant so sometimes you know in the negative sense they can cut people down. So if you if uh, a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius uh, is sharp with their tongue or intonation then just say sorry what did you mean because it, it sounded really awful so just keep the communication going learn to um, accept that they communicate and sometimes they can be flippant so don't be alarmed okay just ask can you be more clear it's foggy. <laughs> Just take as the weather. You've got all the clouds around here so it, they need to be clear. Give them a chance to express themselves as well. Um, sometimes there are Geminis, you know, uh, or, or uh, Libras or Aquarians that can be drawn out to get to the truth because they want to put the dots on the I's and cross their T's. So sometimes they can be long-winded as well, 
because air is wind of course <laughs> anyway it's so funny how the some decks um, activate things that you don't even think about and this is what this card has done to me it activates wind wings um, air so this is the magic about each deck they have their own characters and they initiate uh, the intuition in such a way okay this could also be a transformation uh, period for you because they could be a teacher that's communicating with you on how to communicate how to be sensual how to be sexy in your voice lower your voice talk slowly and like that as if it is a song you are singing just for them and that is what I call uh, mystique, sexy, charming and also very peaceful you can make your your voice sound peaceful but you can also make your voice sound hard when you really want to drive something across to somebody learn how to use your voice especially when you're communicating with a, a Leo uh, sorry a Gemini a Libra or an aquarium they um, they it's like a dog or a cat will pinch up their ears they will listen because those are the um, uh, the qualities they love okay they love to communicate and sometimes they won't say anything and they'll just communicate with their eyes or they communicate with an expression they can communicate in so many different ways they are artists at it okay now it's it's quite fun and it's quite adventurous and exciting when you meet one of these people so at the moment as it stands it's Virgo or Gemini and now we get Leo because you've got the strength card and you can see the lady here with the tiger in this deck it is a tiger but it stands for Leo the strength card so you could even have a Leo that you are hooked up with or that is in your vicinity that is important and there might be a, a, a special communication or a special um, feeling with this person if it's not your partner it could become your partner and this card also says understanding next to the communicating card the king of wings okay so you might be um, seeking advice from a professional like I said or you will get news from a professional and you'll have some understanding which will put you into your strength now number eight is also the money house so money could be coming towards you but this is a romantic, a romantic uh, reading so I'll keep it to the romance and not general so you could be dealing with money or somebody um, that works with money like a banker that's also a banker institution um, you could also bookkeeper um, somebody that works with money a cashier uh, bookkeeper accountant so that could be a Leo a Gemini or a Virgo okay now Virgos are precise Virgos are uh, precise for more so for other people than for themselves so again we're coming back to dotting your eyes and crossing your teeth so be aware of what is happening around you watch out for details watch out for signs watch out uh, for signs from an other person like I said fa uh, facial expressions the words they use how they talk okay but you are in your strength you you have patience and your love and your patience can soften any heart person up to s being gentle and kind you can say like I said when the uh, uh, the air sign is uh, sharp 
or if anybody is sharp then ask for clarity and that will slow them down with your patience and your love for people for communication awesome I love these cards they're magic then then we have the five of shells and the five of shells is of course the five of cups don't cry over spilt milk you can't change the past and somehow you're looking down but not directly at the five of cups so I think you if somebody some of you are have been hurt you will be over the hurt 95% you're not looking directly back at the past you are looking down at the past and that is different than looking at the past looking down is just you might be looking down um, uh, at, me uh, at memories from the past and you're letting go of the past you are being uh, sorry you're doing very well you're letting you're lightening your rucksack like I said at the beginning of the reading you are ready for the new if you are looking for new love passion relationship you've learned from the past you stood up you were patient you were diligent you have enough love to give to somebody that's worth it you've dusted yourself off you stood up and dusted yourself off and you took the first step towards a new future you've learned how to communicate much better gentler voluptuous sexy sensual and you are going to use it big time your tongue is silver and we've got the silver angel card connect with the moon okay now if you connect with the moon that is an inspiring cleansing energy you can put a jug of water with full moon outside um, and leave it there and put the lid on it and use it it will cleanse you that's beautiful and you remember the saying your silver tongued or you have a silver tongue that means that you can make silver silver coins in the olden days with what you say so use that tongue of yours in a beautiful way the angels advise you to sit out or walk in the moonlight the moon's energies will light up your path and protect you on your way now you can wear silver but you can't and you can meditate on silver now the TLC for the soul is your soul story that is your path nobody else's path and you can see that the moon is lighting your way and blue is the color of communication and service this is a moment of expansion you are being tested naturally you may want to be reassured that you are going to flourish before you put faith into your inspirations conversely the way of wisdom is asking you to take a change a, uh, sorry to take a chance by applying all that you've recently learned in all your life studies toward this moment of opposition bring your most valuable lessons whether or not they stem from love or regret and disappointment call upon patience open-mindedness and flexibility to aid you in seeing a new perspective in your soul's story an empathic approach brings harmony while the sharpness of the righteousness can leave a bitter sting resist the desire to shrink back 
and you will receive the reward of your own magnificence being revealed to you and within the proportion of exciting new circumstances wow and I think that's so beautiful um, like here it says bring your most valuable lessons that's the hermit and let go boom that is what it is saying it doesn't matter whether it's in regret, uh, regret or disappointment or with love but here you've got love your patience that's also what it is saying call upon patience that's this card regret and dis uh, uh, patience open-mindedness so that's what you need and flexibility you need to be flexible and also the sharpness and righteousness well that is what the king of swords or wings stand for it's so beautiful how all the cards always enlighten and confirm other cards now love yourself first that is what you need to do especially with the five of cups the five of shells you have learned to love yourself and to put yourself number one first if you have separated from anything uh, even if you're married you must have had a boyfriend or girlfriend before your marriage so learn from that you can think back on that and learn from it love yourself first your self respect makes you more romantically attractive awesome now the overall energy is the death card so you will be in transformation we all grow every single day we never stop growing and learning until we have gone over to the other side now there could also be a scorp there could also be a scorpio around you that is important because you've got the death card and that means transformation and she's got one leg in the here and now and one leg sorry here and now and one leg in the past I think it's beautifully depicted you're stepping away from the past you're going into a new phase you're leaving the old behind Wow that is absolutely beautiful I hope you've enjoyed the reading uh, Pisces and I hope you feel inspired I wish you a beautiful Christmas, a happy new year, and let's hope that 2021 will be a better year. I'm sure it is. And that at least according to the yearlies that I've just recently done. So if you like to have a look at the yearlies, they are in Dutch and in English. Please give me the thumbs up and please share with family and friends. And I'll see you for your January romance back in January 2021. Take care and God bless and stay safe. Thank you.